It's the tip tank trio over Alpine. Breaking it. Three, two, one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to GR Aviation and welcome to the 4th of July here in Alpine, Wyoming. Now, as you can see from that plane right behind me, November 367 Hotel Papa, you all know the owner of this plane. It's Mr. Matt Guth Miller. We are at his beautiful house here on the airstrip. He was gracious enough to let us stay here uh, last night as well as tonight. But today we are going to do some flying before the fireworks start to take advantage of this beautiful weather. And we figured what better way to do that than a fun formation flight with the two Bonanzas and Matt's Mitsubishi MU2. So three planes. This is such a tight squeeze in the hangar, but Matt got him in last night. And now we're just gonna do the same thing in reverse, get him out. Oh, that's close. Beautiful. Dude, that's what we need. There we go. One Bonanza out. Time to get our F-33 out. Went through some patches of bugs on our way here last night. Gotta have clean windows for clean formation. So there's Matt's MU-2. If you guys remember from last video, we went flying in that last night. That thing's fun, but definitely a handful. And he's a lot faster than us. That's the problem. So Owen, how are you gonna overcome the speed differences? Well, we're gonna take off in front of him and then we're gonna re rejoin by making a left-hand turn and kind of cut the turn, Matt and I, and then that'll help close the gap and then we'll join right up on him. Okay, and our selective speed while doing this formation, 140, exactly. so 150? We're originally gonna bring it down to 130 for the rejoin, which is really slow for him. So not a knot slower. And uh, once we're established and in formation, we'll kind of speed up a little bit. Okay. Uh, for the formation passes. Cool. All right. Sounds good. This is going to be cool. When do you get to do formation with an MU2? This is so much fun. Huge shout out to Matt. Beautiful plane. Really nice guy. Bam. Yeah, we need to get one of those. Sweet. It works really well as long as there's no snow or ice. Oh, I hear a plane coming. What is it? Sounds like a bonanza. Oh! Like a T-34 or something? Beautiful day for flying here. Just gotta beat the sun. We're gonna get some golden hour pictures in this formation. It's gonna look amazing, but we gotta hit the, hit the skies real quick. Oh yeah, much better. These are brand new windows actually, so they have very little swirls, very little defects. They look fantastic. Oh my gosh, another plane? What's this? Whoa! Holy cow! T28! Radial engine! That thing is loud! Alright Matt, you ready to rumble? I think so. Any latest things with your plane? You were just doing some traveling, South yeah, Dakota, nothing too crazy. It finally works. Nice. Uh, I've been flying a ton. Putting a bunch uh, of hours on it? Hours on it. Yeah, I get like three oil changes in the last two months. When we get these back in, we'll have to get your opinion on our plane, because I know you haven't taken a look at it too closely yet, so. Absolutely, I want to get the Bonanza experts take on it. Let's see how the oil's doing. Still Dude, close to 11. Still at 11. This thing has not burned still a at 11. Left. Still not a drop burned. Okay, look at that. All right, got the MU2 firing up. Get on in. Alpine traffic got flight of three taxing down to the uh, three one runner. Roger, copy flight of three. Thank you, sir. You guys going over the town? Are you gonna stick around here? Yeah, we're gonna rejoin over the lake and then uh, kind of cruise around here. Right on, have fun. Hey, thanks for the show too. Bet. All right, vlog. So two warbirds birds are landing that we saw just uh, take off and go overhead, and once they are clear. We're gonna hit it. I'm with Owen, obviously. Christian's with Matt, and Hannah is with Matt number two in the Mitsubishi. You guys have a safe flight. Warbird two, play the active. Thank you, Bonanza Slider two, and Mitsubishi is taking uh, three one straight out. Alpine. All right, 
look out your left, he's going to do a lead change. Traffic, 8 o'clock, same altitude, 0 miles. Well, duh. Just stay nice and tight there on the right side, right on that 45, and step down a little bit. So bring it forward. Okay, I'm working on it. We're uh, coming up on the final bend of the lake here, 7,100, uh, working to get 7,000. Okay, Mitsubishi, you want to start a left 360, we're only about a 20 degree bank. It's the Tip Tank Trio over Alpine. This is epic, and those viewers at home, you can see how laser-focused Owen is. When you're in formation, I mean, you're just a matter of feet away, so you gotta be on your game. I'm watching some of the gauges that he can't while he's looking outside. We're looking good, and this is gonna be quite the show for people on the ground down below. You break midfield so more people get to see it. All right. Alpine traffic, Bonanza flight of two, two mile initial for the right hand brake overhead midfield land on uh, one three Alpine. Alright, here comes a brake video right overhead of the whole air park. Give them a little bit of a show. Fireworks going on. Up, oh, got some flack down below. Okay, breaking in three, two, one. Flight traffic, Bonanza flight two, landing one three, Alpine. Oh, they even got fireworks for us. Yeah, how about that? Nice, that was That's awesome. Do, baby. Everybody was smiling and waving, so obviously they Put smiles on enjoyed faces. that. Hey, we'll wait for you before we taxi back to the hangar. Okay, you're good. I'm just uh, coming overhead now. Okay, we got Matt here. So, our new plane, you saw it from uh, 7,000 feet right next to it, but now up close and personal. What do you think of our new purchase? Looks pretty nice. I mean, like, the Bonanza is a, a great airplane, just does so much so well. Uh, you got a nice interior. Oh yeah, what do you nice think of the interior. new seats? I mean, they look like, great. Yeah. I wish I had seats that night. <laughs> <laughs> so, what year is it? 1975. What year is yours? Mine's 81. 81, okay, uh, six years. Mine years. has a much bigger door on the back. Yeah. Uh, barn doors. Barn doors. Right. The barn doors, so you open up both of them, uh, get really anything in. The nice thing about this is it's gonna be a little bit lighter, so you get a little better, you know, like short field performance and stuff, at least if you didn't have the turbo. Mm -hmm. But the turbo is obviously nice up high. This bigger prop, does this have enough clearance for you, for your taste? I noticed that, this is way bigger than yours. That is bigger, so that, that, that could be an issue. Yeah, it's two inches longer, and it looks cooler. Yeah, it does look cool. So obviously the paint, new yeah, paint jobs. Right. This is a nice airplane. And we have the same amount of fuel as you. People may not know that, even though this is a smaller plane, we still have 114 gallons usable, just like you. Right. We have the same tip tanks. Okay, these are the Osborne. Osborne, yeah. But How nice your paint is around here. People fill, spill a little fuel over the years, and it starts to like, crack oh. the paint and stuff. It looks great, and fuel cap's nice and tight. Do you know when you film all the way to tippy top like you did with Russia, is it actually 20 gallons or at the tippy tippy top is like 21.5. 20, 21.5, exactly. I figured it was more. Really, so really there's extra three gallons between the tanks, between the tip, two tip tanks. Wow, and then good to know. Three gallons in each main that's unusable that really in level flight is definitely usable. Obviously, you have to plan around what the usable fuel is, but really, if you need it, you got like an extra nine gallons. What do you guys have to do with the so I didn't even look at that. Yeah, yeah, take a peek at that. Uh, nothing like your setup. A little older, but 
in 2005, this was a pretty hot setup. Yeah, yeah, no, this is good. So the, the engine, they're like, so that's just like a digital tachometer there. That's all that one, all yep. that thing does. Okay. And a G2 engine monitor. The, uh, okay, I got you. So does that do, does that have a fuel totalizer too, or is that just like easy? Yeah. yeah and the top Jeez. Yes, I mean, you really, you got everything you need here. What um, did yours have in it before your avionics upgrades? Pretty Anything close similar? to pr pretty close to this, except I had the JPI 930, so I didn't have any analog engine gauges. That was okay. all just in the engine monitor. Uh, but other than that, it was basically literally just this. All right, so you like the avionics too, and the seats, so what do you all think? that. Would you fly this around the world? I'd fly it around the world. Yeah, I'd I'd, uh, I'd rather have mine, you know, for just everything else. And certainly, this is a great airplane, and maybe a smaller prop to, for the backcountry stuff. But being light is really nice, and you know, kind of backcountry mm -hmm. short field things. Cool. All right. Well, he likes it. Sweet. Yeah. Wanted to get your take. Make sure you didn't see any huge red flags or anything. So it passes the Matt Guth Miller check. Yeah. Cool. Great. Well, thank. All right, it's firework time. So we'll end it with the fireworks, guys. But I hope you enjoyed that formation flight. That was awesome here in Alpine. Dreams come true. Seeing this property as kids growing up, like, and just going like, wow. Yeah. One really, day. Really was incredible. And not just beautiful scenery, but two beautiful bonanzas. And of course, the Mitsubishi just put it over the top. It was so wild. That was epic. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was great meeting up with Matt. We've been friends with him for a long time. And uh, Owen, Matt, us getting together. It's just always a good time. And the second Matt. We can't forget him with the cool plane. So yeah. thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And tomorrow we're off to Billings. And then after that, back home to Arizona. Who knows what's next on the channel, but the it's going to be good. series continues. Holy. It feels right.